Good afternoon from Bangkok you guys. We got a great week ahead of us which we're gonna show you in this vlog and right now we're gonna go to the city center to get some food and fuel our bodies for this day. Right now we're at Shabushi for some late lunch. You can pick your own flavor of soup over here and then pick whatever you like from the conveyor belt and put it in your soup. And this is just an amazing concept and you can eat as much as you want. Tonight we're going to the cassette bar. This is a sky bar located right next to Lumpini Park. So from the windows you'll see Lumpini Park. You have this beautiful overview. We're gonna get some drinks over there, maybe some snacks, and hopefully we're also gonna catch the sunset. So if you're looking for some nice thrift shops or vintage stores, Siam Square One is such a nice place to go. It's a super energetic vibe, lots of people, good food spots, some drinks, like it's such a nice place. Look who we have here! Hey. <laughs> Our friend Sander from the Netherlands. We're going to Lauteng at Chinatown to have some dinner and after that we're going to Khao San Road for some drinks. And some dancing. Can you do some dancing at Khao San? No, no, Sander no, no, is no. one of the best dancers we know. Oh yeah. Lao Teng and we're gonna have some delicious dim sum. Sonder and Mare are gonna try it for the first time. <laughs> Looks like there's no bone. <laughs> Take a bite. Ah, there's bone. Yeah. What is it? You can eat the bone, right? Nope. <laughs> no, you nope, can't. Nope, nope. Look at this bone. Yeah. There's no way you can eat around the bone. No, you have to do spit, you have to yeah. spit out the bone. <laughs> Does it taste good? It tastes good. Yeah, yeah. I love it. Okay, so if you do visit Lao Tang on the third floor, they have a secret hidden bar. They serve cocktails here. We're not going in there, but if you do want a cocktail after you had some food, this is the place to be.
bought some durian. This is hard to come by. It's a rare fruit. <laughs> We're both gonna try it for the first time and I'm not looking forward to it. Same. <laughs> It's not that steak. It's not like I remember when you sometimes you walk past these durians stands and you get that smell. It's overwhelming. Mm. It's not like that. Taste it. Should I just buy it all? No. Dramatic. What's so bad about it? Oh my god. It tastes like you're eating gas. You <laughs> it's really mushy, but if you put it in your mouth, it's like taking a sip of gasoline or something. Try it, dude. <laughs> Why are you doing I know exactly what you mean, yeah. It's like gasoline, right? It's like gassy. It's, it's, it's putrid. It's like gas. <laughs> this is rough. You're going in for another bite? No. You want some? Yeah, I want to try it. <laughs> what a hero. Let's go. Oh, it's not bad. Oh my god. Your Thai roots are speaking. No, but like for real, I thought it would be nasty because before well, I didn't like it, but now I do. Really? You're gonna just take another bite? Mm -hmm. What an arrow. Today is Songkran. Songkran is Thailand's most famous festival and it marks an important event on the Buddhist calendar. Today the city will be full with people, kids, grandparents, everyone that will splash each other with water. And the water actually is more than a fun way to cool down because it symbolizes washing off other people's bad luck and sins. So we're really curious to find out what Songkran is all about. And it's actually our first time in Thailand experiencing Songkran. So. Exactly. We're going to take you with us on our first Songkran in Thailand. 